Hey folks, time for a brand new segment here on the Red Delta Project uh, YouTube channel. This is something that some of you have been asking for and I've been really kind of wary of doing, which is about product reviews and uh, what basically what I think of various things. Now, the other day I got an email from this company, it texted, it texted, it can uh, that, and they said, hey, we've got these smart scales, can we send you one and you review it? Now, usually for things like this, I just like, no, like I get these things all the time, like take this pre-workout, tell us what you think and stuff. I'm like, the whole point of RDP is to help you get in the best shape of your life without having to buy stuff, without having to fill your home with crap and get all sorts of gadgets and gizmos and supplements and all sorts of things like that. But these new scales, these are not about weight. These are what they, these smart scales and it's part of what they call the internet of things. We're getting to this age where data, personal data, is much easier to acquire and compile. And that sets us up in a really interesting situation in our fitness culture. On one hand, getting more information and data about what's really going on with ourselves and our bodies can be a very good thing because a lot of us, we're struggling to make changes because we're not really aware of what's actually going on. At the same time, getting a lot of this data means you have a lot of information and a lot of numbers but if it doesn't make sense to it or you can't use it, then it's just a complete waste of time because only if it can be put to practical use does it make sense. So I really think that stuff like this is starting to turn the tide because one, it's really easy to gather the data. You just step on the scale for 10 seconds once in a while and it goes right to your smartphone. Two, it presents it in a useful way with graphs and trends and you can see how your body's changing over time. So there's little guesswork with it. Now in the past I've done lots of videos where I'm very critical of things like calorie surplus, bulking and stuff like that because a lot of times we just eat a whole lot, we cross our fingers and hope it's going to turn into muscle when a lot of times it just sets you up to gain a lot of extra fat and then you gotta diet the fat off and it's a whole lot of energy and time completely wasted for very little to any change at all. But sometimes it can work a little bit, but it's hard to know these things. It's been very hard to measure and quantify bulking and cutting, but these scales actually make it a lot easier because they do measure, to a degree, your body fat percentage and how many pounds you're carrying. They measure also pounds of fat, it's not just percentage. So if you're like, I'm gonna try and build muscle, and by the way, I'm gonna take three extra protein shakes every day, this will actually say, yes, you are gaining muscle tissue. You've got two more pounds or whatever. Or if you're looking at it and saying, my body fat has gone up, but my muscle levels haven't, then you know that your bulk is just making you fatter. So that's one of the reasons why I like this. The second reason is it gives you an approximation of your BMR. And the BMR, I believe, is one of the most important numbers you can possibly learn about yourself. Basically, this is what I refer to as your caloric horizon. Your caloric horizon is the amount of calories that your body expends on a daily basis to be healthy and functioning well. So when people are trying to lose weight, I tell them, don't go below your BMR. Because, it, yeah, cut back on how much you're eating, but once you go below that, that's kind of like cutting back on your budget and you're getting rid of things like luxury items, but eventually you cut back so low that you get kicked out because you can't pay the rent. You don't want to go so low. You've got to pay the rent on your own body from a caloric standpoint. So your BMR is the lowest number I would have you go to, and even not even all week, just a few days out of the week, preferably workout days, because that way you're eating at that level and whatever calories you're expending throughout your workouts and physical activity are extra calories that you have to make up by burning off your body fat stores. A couple of other things to address here. One, 22% body fat? I mean, are you kidding me? There is no way, there's no way I'm 22% body fat. I mean, my body has roughly been the same body composition for the past 10 years, and it's always hovered to roughly around 10 to 12%, maybe around 15% during the holidays and stuff. So no way that's 22%. Now, the scale that we had at work um, showed 22%, funny enough, the first time I used it, but there was a setting there for athlete versus just non-athlete. When I put on the athlete setting, then it got down to like 13%. I'm like, oh, okay, great. But with this scale, I didn't find that setting anywhere. Um, so yeah, there's a strike against it uh, for sure, but 
uh, I'm sh sure they could probably just add that in an update and that would be good. The other elephant in the room is how accurate are these numbers? Like, this is using bioelectrical impedance. Well, the, the reality of data collection at this point in time is that there's always a cost to benefit ratio with these things. The more accurate you get, the more expensive it's going to get in terms of money, time, and effort to put into it. And one of the key points to having trending data collection is ease of collection. You have to be able to get it quick and easy. So being able to have something like a DEXA scanner or a hydrostatic lane tank in your home is simply not practical. So are those numbers dead on accurate? Well, the body fat percentage sure as hell isn't. Um, but the other ones, yeah, I'd say they're roughly ballpark. But again, the numbers themselves aren't really the important thing. It's the trends of the numbers that are important. And that's what I like most about these scales and these apps is it will show you trends over time with graphs that it automatically makes for you. And you don't have to do anything, you just look at it and stuff. And that's where the real value in the data lies. And it's so hard to get that kind of information when you're compiling numbers and making spreadsheets and doing all that sort of thing. So from that perspective, smart scales like this are just gold. So overall, on the plus side, I like the design, I like the ease of use, which is crucial. And I like how it doesn't really require any sort of extra work because a big part of fitness independence is basically how do you stay in shape without having to put too much effort and energy into it? I think it can be a very useful tool with a few little changes and modifications in the future. One is setting an athlete mode on this thing, which I would appreciate. And the second thing is having something in the app that would just give a little bit more information on how to use the numbers. Like I'm telling you, you know, use your BMR like this, and this is what this means and stuff. But it would be cool if in the app they had something that had like, my goal is to lose weight, my goal is to build muscle, my goal is to be healthier or something. And then from the numbers and the trends, it would give you recommendations based on maybe do X to your diet or increase your cardio or do whatever. If they could make these things so that it dispenses actual practical advice on what the numbers actually mean, I think that could be the next level to really bring in this smart technology up to par. Because right now it's just presenting data, but the next level is going to be telling you and giving you advice what you can use the data for to make more practical decisions in the future. I hope you enjoyed my review here on the Texity scales and stuff. Let me know your questions down below. Also, of course, there is a link to check this out on Amazon down in the description if you're curious about it. Um, no, I don't think it's an affiliate link, uh, but again, full disclosure, I was given this for the review, so thank you very much, Texity. I will definitely be using it and enjoying it. And if you have any other products that you would like to, re to review here on the Red Delta Project YouTube channel, please leave your suggestions down below in the comments section. Talk to you guys later. Till then be fit, live free.